For creating raised shapes with some kind of a prismatic effect on them, in Arkham Insignia we use a strategy called bevel carving. This allows us to take a shape, pass a V-angled tool around the outside of it, and leave us with a raised V-shaped profile on the top of it. Typically you cut these letters out, but they can also be incorporated with other toolpaths as well. In reality I would take these and nest them to optimise the material, but we'll leave them as they are as it's easier to see what's happening. We take these and go into the bevel carving now. I'm going to start by selecting a tool, in this case we'll use a 120 degree bit, and calculating the centre line to see what depth of cut that's going to need in order to achieve the point. When it gives me the value here I'm able to calculate a wall height that will be within the full finished depth and still make sure that we go to a full point. If you don't then Arkham Insignia will warn you. Next we're able to pick a profile tool, in this case I'll pick a nice small 3mm tool and we'll calculate the toolpath. Insignia will automatically build both the toolpath for the prismatic top and also for the cutout passes and we can see that here. We're able to simulate this in separate passes if we want to. So there is our prismatic effect and then now we can simulate the cutout and you can see how those letters would look when we cut them. We get this nice raised prismatic profile and then there's the cutout so we could take them and finish them off. Very quick and very easy to set up. Gives a fantastic faux 3D effect.